jeans with your knee out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> think that bit has a patch on it, don't you? <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time you're watching this video. Uh, today I'm with my Nana, Nora. Say hello, Nan. Hello. And uh, I'm going to be asking her some modern slang terms, uh, seeing what she thinks they mean, and then uh, <laughs> I'll explain to her after. A couple of naughty ones in there. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, if you are. So the first word I'm going to ask you is lit. What do you think lit stands for, Nan? Lit? L-I-T, lit. Oh, crunch. You lit a candle. Or lit a, lit a lamp. Do you want to put it in a sentence for me now? We have lit the lamp. <laughs> Just means when something's amazing. So you right. could say, oh, I, I, went, I went to a party last night no, and it lit. was it was lit. lit. Yeah, you oh. know, don't you? you're up all night partying with the el elders at the home, aren't That's you? That's right, yes. Yeah, yeah old lady who organised that, she's moving up to Newcastle. Organised what? You want crazy parties? A crazy party, yeah, yeah. for a dinner. Yes, yeah, she's moving. What do you get up to at these crazy parties? Well, we have games and drink and nibbles, and then we put the television on when that gets to five to twelve. Crazy. So we can uh, hear the fireworks go off and the bells ringing and. No cocaine, I hope. Full KK. I said no cocaine, I hope. Oh, I don't know what's in the cake. <laughs> about that tea that time <laughs> when we got that tea tasting thing oh you should have seen me i don't know what was in it that one well i went a bit loony <laughs> <laughs> i kept going look i sent a three i sent a three i tell you and i felt all the cooler in my head and, and i kept laughing and they were all laughing with me so you think you had a bit of um that was um well, when I a herbal tea, Nan. Yeah, I must have done. <laughs> Nan might have had weed tea. That was funny, that was. I Someone bet. Did you get the munchies, Nan? <laughs> no, I didn't get the munchies. No, I didn't want nothing to eat. I just kept going peculiar. <laughs> I might give them all a good laugh, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the next word is shook. Shook? Well, shook something. <laughs> That's the name of that, that old dog, what, an old black dog, what was supposed to be a ghost of that, uh, near Albury. That is name is Shook, old Shook. Bit of history there. Okay, so Shook basically means, so you say you, you know when you had a, you have a car crash, you're a bit shook up? Yes. So like this would be like, um, I don't know, say you was in, a, in front of a lot of people and someone asked you something really embarrassing or... Uh, you felt out of your comfort zone or something like that, that means the person shook because they're, they're like, I don't know, they're, they're scared or something like that. Oh, right. So, um, like, say, okay, say you saw something really horrific, you'd say, ah, oh, she shook. Oh, she right. couldn't believe her eyes, she couldn't believe what happened. Ah, no. Yeah. Oh, right. Something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is low key. Low key. Low key. Yeah, what do you think it means? Try and put well, it in a sentence. I've heard uh, somebody saying that's low key. That's, um, Where'd you hear that, down? I can't remember where I heard it now. Down at the youth centre hanging out? Low key. Does that mean you're poorly off or something like that? Or mean you're what? Poorly off. Poorly off? Mm. What do you mean? You're not very, um, not very jovial or not, not um, joining in things, no. Low key means you're not joining in things. Mm. That's what you're going for. Wrong. I mean, when you're trying to, you, you're trying to keep something low key. So, you, say you're my work friend, I could say I'm thinking about applying for a new job, but keep it low key. Oh, don't say nothing. Yeah, about keep it. keep it quiet. So the the next one's something that I only learned very recently, and I, I saw it and I was like, hang on a minute, what what's that mean? Hundo P. Who? <laughs> Hundo P. Hundo P. Hundo P. <laughs> Hundo P. Hundo P. <laughs> Hundo P. Hundo. Hundo, yeah, I've got that. And then bit. P, just the letter P. A letter P? Yeah, just, just Hundo P. Hundo P. Oh my goodness gracious me, it sounds like a motor car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hundo P. Up in the air or something. Well, like, every, 
the world has been turned upside down. Is that what you is that what you're going for? Something or other, yeah. So a hundo P is a short abbreviation, but it's actually longer for 100. percent oh. So hundo P, hundo 100 percent. It basically means uh, if something's like pretty cool, you're cert you're dead certain on it. You're like, you say, oh, I said to you, ah, oh, now I'm gonna swing by your crib later, hundo P. So I'm coming around later, 100 percent, I'll be there. Yeah. Are you ready for the next one? If you like. But the next one's not a very nice one. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know how it's going to go down. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. You ready for it? Yeah. Sloppy seconds. Hey? Sloppy seconds. Sloppy seconds? Yeah. <laughs> Sloppy seconds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sloppy seconds. Oh, my word. Sloppy seconds. <laughs> Stop saying it. <laughs> <laughs> What do, you, what do you think it means? I don't know. Having um, the kiss or something. <laughs> you definitely don't want to be kissing that man. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You go for sloppy seconds and having a kiss? Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Are you sure you want to know it? Go on then. Sloppy seconds is normally used when, say, one friend was to sleep with a lady. Yeah. And then his mate goes to sleep with the same girl. Oh, it's normally right. used for sloppy seconds, but it's also used in the sense of a woman who's been gangbanged. <laughs> <laughs> because she has the previous man's semen in her and the, the next geese is going through her as oh, well. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Nan. <laughs> Lord forgive oh, me. Good job, I'm broad-minded. <laughs> Are you ready for the next one? <laughs> Go on then. Finish your tea already? Yeah, I've drunk my tea. Thank you. The next word's fat, spelt P-H-A-T. Spat? Fat. Fat. <laughs> like fat, like... Fat. Like, like F-A-T, but spelt P-H-A-T. Fat. Fat. The thing I thought it stood for is different to what is explained online. Oh. So I can tell you my, what I think it means, which is, could be wrong. Which maybe is wrong from what I've seen on the internet. And then I'll tell you the internet definition. This unit. Internet, get everywhere. What do you think fat means, man? Fat. <laughs> Something's gone wrong. Something's gone wrong. <laughs> Put it in a sentence for me. Put it in a sentence? Yeah. Put it in a sentence. Crikey. I'd say something you're doing and that's all gone wrong and you go, oh, fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just put your cup of tea and you're like, oh, fat. Okay, so the internet abbreviation stands for pretty hot and thick. Oh god, it's pea soup. <laughs> pea soup? Yeah. <laughs> pretty hot. That's pretty hot and thick pea soup. So pretty hot and thick is based on the internet it said it's to describe a pretty girl. Oh. Then no, no, she's pretty hot and thick. Oh, no, I no, see. don't get my thick thing, but oh. maybe that's I don't know. That's what the internet says, but I always thought fat stood for something that's good. So say, um, Doc Doris from the old people's home, she just got a, she just got a, a proper decent new whip, which stands for car, a new motor car now. She's got a big old sound system in the back and a 20 inch alloys. Oh. And she pulls up and you're like, oh Doris, your car is fat. Oh, right. I mean, and I, I, that's what I thought it meant, but I was wrong as well. Are you learning all kinds now? Are you learning all kinds of new things? Am I learning all kinds of new things? Yeah, yeah I just think I am. <laughs> the next word's dench. Dench? Yeah. Or Judy Dench. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not the actor, man. <laughs> dench. Well, oh, actually, funny you say Judy Dench because when I looked it up online, it was used to, her name came into it to describe this thing as a. Did it? Yeah. Judy Dench. Dench. Perfect. Not far off, actually, now. Uh, when something's dench, it means that it's nice, or another word which we might not use is sick. It means it's sick, so sick is a good, good thing. I like sick. Oh. So it's like nice, good, yeah. sick. Um, and when I looked it up on the internet, the description of it said uh, someone could also say that is Judy. Mm. So you could say that's Judy Dench, basically, that's Judy. Oh. Um, the next one you might know, it's not really a, a, a modern slang word, it's been used for years, and it's um, from a different language to ours, but wagwan. Wagwan? Wagwan. So if I said wagwan, Nan, what would that mean? Wagwan. 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 How do you do? <laughs> Spot on. Pretty much. This is uh, the Jamaican word. Oh. And I mean, what's going on? Oh. 
right. So it's kind of a hello and kind of a like how are you? So I'd be like, why, why, man? It's like, hello, what's going, what's going on, man? All right. So it's pretty close on that one. Down with the kids. Oh. This is something like you get quite often. Cool. This is I describe you as this quite quite regular. Hangry. Hangry. Yeah. Hangry. Oh, <laughs> excited. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I do quite often. Mm. Knit. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? I'm, I'm gonna go hangry up a blanket tonight. Is that what you'd say? <laughs> Maybe pigs in blankets. Sausages. <laughs> Basically, it's a mixture of the two words of angry and hungry. Um, I know what you're like when your lunch don't come on time. You start getting Ooh, a bit hangry. Getting a bit alright. Yeah, yeah, a bit hangry. Where's my dinner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what that one means. So now you can use that at the home. You'd be yeah. like, Kara, I'm getting hangry now. Where's my food? Oh, you are joking me. I've had my head cut off the whole time. You've got your head cut off. Yeah. On fleek. On fleek. Yeah. <laughs> Something to do with the sea. The sea. Put it in a sentence for me. Is it something to do with the sea? No, but <laughs> well, it could be. I suppose it could be. It could be to do with anything. On oh, fleek. Fleek. Football. Keep it in a sentence. What? What? Just put it in a sentence of what you think it means. I'm mm. going to watch fleeky football tonight. Watching football. No. Basically, it means then something's like flawlessly groomed or flawlessly styled. Oh. So if I was to put it in a sentence, which is where it's mostly used, is. So you just had your eyebrows all nicely plucked and or tinted or whatever, oh and they were boy. really nice shape. I'd be like, Nan, your eyebrows are on fleek. Oh, that's I've never right. had my eyebrows plucked. Never. No. Should we get them done this weekend? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, Nan. Twerking. Twerping. Twerking. A. Twerk. Ing. Twerking. Yeah, twerk. Twerking. Oh God. I think that means plucking your eyebrows. I bet, you, I bet you've done this a few times when you were a bit younger, Nan. Oh, I right. In the old disco halls. Dancing? Sort of. It's a, it's a dance move, sort of. It's nowadays where... Jazz? Uh, yeah. It's definitely not jazz. Not jazz. It's like where um, ladies dance, but they sort of like jerk their bum up and down as they dance. Not doing the twist. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Mm, mm, mm. You really need loops, loops, loops. <laughs> <laughs> bit, bit like that. So did you used to do it? I was so. <laughs> Ready for the next one? Yeah. YOLO. Yellow? YOLO. YOLO. Yeah, like Y-O-L-O. -O. It's an acronym. YOLO. Oh, how'd you do? Hello. YOLO. Yeah. Nothing to eat, is it? No, it's an acronym. The Y stands for something, then the O, then the L. Y-O-L-O. -O. What do you think the Y stands for? You. Yeah, and then O-L-L-O. -L -L -O. You on. You. <laughs> Block. Just have a guess, anything. Well, I can put it in a sentence for you. Would that help? Yeah, it might do. Okay, so oh, I'm so skint at the moment, but I blew loads of money on a night out last night. Yolo. No, I can't think. You giving up? Yes. You giving up? Yes. You're definitely giving up. Yeah. It means you only live once. Oh. Basically, when someone says Yolo, they use it to justify actions that they have taken or they're about to take, which are stupid. Basically, it's just another way of saying life's short. So, fuck it. Right. <laughs> the last one then is melt. Melt? Yeah. I'm melting down. Oh god. If I said to you, Nan, you're a melt. Bloody nuisance. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're a melt. Yeah, be like, be like, be like. You know Joyce from the home? She's a melt, I think you could say. Joyce? Who's Joyce? Well I don't know, I was just thinking of the name. Oh you mean Ada? Anyway. Anyone. anyone. She's a melt. Oh, no, I was just, I was just thinking of any old person's name. I'm not like, pinpointing anyone. <laughs> you could say that Dorothy, she's a melt. Oh, nuisance. Nah, it means idiot, like a total fool. A fool? Yeah. Oh, right. So I could say, uh, say somebody's completely stupid, always doing the wrong thing, or um, oh. a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a twist. Yeah. It's been like, he's such a melt. Oh, right. Yeah. So that was... Slang words with Nana. So thanks for watching the video with my Nana. I'm sure I'm going to do a few more in the future with her. It's been good fun, a good laugh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So uh, don't forget to like the video or leave a comment. And uh, most of all, don't forget... Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, <laughs> oh dear.
dear, oh dear. Oh, what a jolly lot. Ooh, ooh. <laughs>